Hi guys, it's Annalise here, um, and I'm gonna let you know straight up that this isn't going to be one of my normal YouTube videos. Um, obviously, it's been a really difficult time. Um, firstly, with coronavirus, I've been dealing with my own anxiety around that issue in itself. But then, with the recent events of the last few weeks in terms of George Floyd's death, murder, I should call it, followed by the Black Lives Matter protests, riots, which is really taking on a whole new life. It's really got me thinking and it's been quite difficult to work out really what to do. I think we've all been in that position, especially on social media, Blackout Tuesday. So I actually think this was a really positive thing I know there was a lot of confusion around the hashtag using Black Lives Matters, clogging up timelines, etc. But I think the overall united front that it showed was, was really good. I think the concerning part, though, is that it can't just be about one day. Black Lives Matter is not just one day. So the discussion and the conversations and everything needs to continue. For the last few days, like most of my posts, all of my posts have had to be reflective about the time and situation that we're in. I'm finding it quite insensitive to see sexy beach photos and I don't know, expensive shoes and I don't know. And I love fashion. I love all of that stuff, but I'm just finding it a little bit insensitive. But as I said, I feel like the conversation needs to continue. So how do I continue creating content mindfully? So some of you might know that I do my outfit check videos on here and IGTV as well. Fashion styling videos, fashion is my passion. So I'm trying to think about ways to express myself doing what I do but still kind of acknowledging what's happening right now. And I am always thinking of different ideas for these outfit check videos constantly. I've been thinking about celebrating pride or maybe some summer trends. Um, and then I thought, you know what? Let me do an outfit check featuring only black designers. Perfect, Bob's your uncle, I can do that. And then I realized that this is something that I wouldn't be able to do in like a few days just because I'd have to order stuff in. And I mean, I, I mean, I use next day delivery all the time. And I thought, what black owned fashion brand do I know that I can get next day delivery on? And I thought, OK, hold on, go to your wardrobe. My wardrobe is full of clothes, right? Let me pick out some of the black designers that I've worked with over the last 20 years of working in this industry. And yes, I do have a good few pieces. But then I realised all of those brands were not still in business today. What does that even show? And of course, I've got lots of like African print clothing. I did do an outfit check on that. Um, and I've even got like t-shirts saluting us, you know, afros on t-shirts, that kind of vibe. But where is just the general fashion? Where is it? It feels like black owned fashion brands basically come from celebrities. You have to be a celebrity in order to be accessible, I guess. Because where are they hiding? I live in East London and I'm not saying that these designers should live here, but that is a fashion hub and I would figure that I would know a lot more than I did. I scrolled through my Instagram and it was very far and few between that I could find black British designers. There's been loads of articles recently, um, obviously in the light of everything, um, Vogue, Harper's Bazaar, giving you like the top 20, 30, 40, whatever the number may be, black um, fashion designers to know. And those lists, great. They're important. Love them. I've got my eye on all of them. 
but they're not accessible to me. First of all, they are super luxury, like super, super luxury. So of course they're not gonna feature in my little outfit check video because nobody's got time to spend a thousand pounds on a coat right now. Like, why can't I get a pair of jeans from a black owned business, fashion brand? Why? So I was talking to my boyfriend about this and he put it in a way for me to understand. He was like, black fashion brands are tailored to sell directly to black people to express our culture and how proud we are. Rightly so. We do not have black fashion brands that are aimed at selling to the masses. And it just gets me thinking. There is a very, very long way to go. So yeah, I am gonna do an outfit check featuring only black designers. Um, if you know any, ideally locally, cause I need to order and get those deliveries, please do tag them below. But here's something to think about that was really poignant for me. I was able to pull together five pride looks in like two days. That was either from my wardrobe, um, from ordering next day delivery, ASOS, Kurt Geiger, Levi's, etc. And I am not even from the LGBTQ community as much as I support them. However, I'm a black woman and I cannot go into my wardrobe and find clothing from black designers. How strange is that? I mean, like I owe all of my fashionista-ness from my culture, my heritage, like it wouldn't be the same without my, my blackness. It just wouldn't be the same. But I'm not getting that from black designers or even black businesses or companies with black directors or CEOs or something, black people. Oh no, too much to think about there. I think I just felt that I had to kind of say something. So yeah, support black businesses, black content creators, black designers, just support. If you are marching today, please do stay safe and thank you.